Employees at a local restaurant are taking to social media with concerns and allegations over what they say is a lack of pay. It's happening at Aladia's in Lexington. According to one employee's Facebook post, it's been two weeks since anyone at the store has been paid. WIS reporter Ashley Jones spoke to that employee. How are we not able to get those tips that we personally made? That's the question coming from former server Zoe Spires, who spoke out on Facebook about being one of the many employees that didn't get paid at Aladia's restaurant in Lexington. Um, no one was able to get paid. All of our checks, checks bounced and we weren't able to get our money. That was two weeks ago, but Spires says that wasn't the first time. A couple months back, I did have a few issues with trying to cash my checks or mobile deposit them. They would tell me that there weren't enough funds in the account to pay me. And then my manager, Jessica, would have to give me cash either from the drawer inside the store or money out of her pocket. A sign now left on the restaurant's back door says it's closed for a family emergency and asks customers to visit the Irmo location. The general manager put that sign up. My family emergency sign was my family is no longer going to have their jobs. So we put that up originally and haven't fixed the sign yet. Emick says she never missed a paycheck. And when she did ask the owner about the lack of pay of other employees, he pointed to a cash flow issue. I was kind of given a dismissive answer and that it was complicated, but he's figuring out and don't worry. Emick says several employees would tell her that their checks were bouncing or getting rejected and she would usually pay them out of pocket and then reimburse herself. But now she's currently waiting on her reimbursement check. We've worked with them for so long and we have our own little family and it's uh, it hurts my heart to know that they aren't going to be able to pay their rent if I can't spare money that I'm obviously not using now. So I did it because I want them to be okay. Um, I hate that I have to, but I did not do that for Adam's sake. I did that for my employees because I love them and I want them to be able to provide for themselves like their job should be doing for them. She says they're currently looking to take legal action against the owner. In Lexington, I'm Ashley Jones, WIS News 10.